hi guys um welcome to my video welcome to my channel um so today's devotional today it is day 27 out of the devotionals and today's devotional is called so i borrow the wicked borroweth and payeth not again psalm 37 21 some people feel they can beg or borrow anything and give little or no thought to who returning it when they do this they they disobey god's principles both Mrs. Bradley and her daughter Jean had this bad habit, and it seemed that they had made use of it almost every day. Run next door and get a cup of sugar, said Mrs. Bradley to her daughter one morning. I am just about to I am just about out and I want to bake some cookies today. Jean obeyed. Go across the street and see if Mrs. Jones has a couple of eggs I can borrow, Mrs. Bradley said early the same afternoon. I guess I'm out. Later the, later in the day, as Mrs. Bradley and her neighbor were downtown, she said, I'm just a dime short on getting this box of candy for my sister's birthday. Could you lend it to me? So it went on and on, borrow this and borrow that, but rarely did she give any thought to returning things. It was bad enough for Mrs. Bradley to have this habit, but also her daughter had picked it up. May I borrow some lunch money? Jean asked in school one day, of course, never intending to return it. A little later, as she and a friend stood in the cafeteria looking over the candy bar, she said, May I borrow a dime? I want some candy and I forgot to ask Mother for my allowance this morning. The scripture has definite words to say about people who do this. It says, Oh, no man, anything. Does this mean a cup of sugar? some eggs or a dime for a candy bar of course it does it means what it says oh no man anything when we borrow with the idea of forgetting to return we are taking things under false pre pretenses and this is definitely wrong borrowing person make amends before you lose your dearest dearest friends additional reading romans chapter 13 verses 7 through 10. my dad was right here have a look me today. <sighs> Here we are. I found it. Seven through ten. Okay. It says, render therefore to all their dues tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not seal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. It's kind of shorter to read. In a way. A little shorter. But, anyway. Um, so, when we borrow stuff from other people, we need to learn how to um, remember to... Um, to give things in return, to get to, we need to learn how to return things that we had borrowed and not just take things that, like, um, asked to borrow stuff and then never return it back because that's just wrong. Not doing the right thing is just borrowing something from somebody, never returning it back. That's just wrong. But yes, I get it. Um, we, people, some people may feel the need to beg or borrow anything and give little or no thought of returning it, but it's still, it's still wrong and you're still disobeying God's principle. Even when you're not intentionally meaning to, you're still disobeying God's principle and what God wants us to do in his commandments. And we need to learn how to, to be, not just bar be a borrowing person, but a returning person where we return the things that we have borrowed. So... What I'm trying to say is that we might not saying this will happen, but it's a, it's this before we lose our dear before you lose our your dearest friends. 
well, this might apply to all of us. Like, if we're that person, we 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 may or may not lose our dearest friends because of it because we're not doing something in return and that is returning the stuff we have borrowed to them that we have borrowed from them and yes we it's a yeah i understand there's something wrong with borrowing stuff but if it's um just borrowing and never returning it um then there's kind of a problem there because then it'll be a habit that you pick up and it is whether you like whether you um know it or not you're pretty much disobeying god's principle and god's commandment it as says like it says um thou shalt not steal and thou shalt not bear false witness and those and those commandments in the bible that I have listed um we need to learn how to not steal things you know i mean it may we may be asking to to borrow stuff, but we really need to remember to take that into consideration. When we borrow stuff, um, we need to remember to return it back and not just take it and just keep it and steal it because that's just wrong. It says in the Bible clearly, thou shalt not steal and thou shalt not bear false witness and all those commandments in the Bible so but like it says in it says in um, Psalms 37 21 it says the wicked borroweth and payeth not again so if we're gonna borrow stuff from people we need to remember how to pay it back to them and remember how to re return the stuff that we have borrowed and keep our word and keep our promises no one's going to want to be in our lives if we're going to be keep breaking our promises and we're going to keep breaking our Lord. Like, think about it. God doesn't break our, his promises. He keeps his word. He keeps his, he keeps his word to every, to every promises he makes to us. Like, like, for example, there is a promise that he listed in the Bible, at least one I can list. It says, I will never leave me nor forsake thee. And he hasn't left us, so he's never broken his word. And... He has proven us from time to time that we can trust him and that he's going to keep his word. So we need to be the person that keeps our promises, who keeps our word, who um, who um, borrows and then returns back what we had borrowed. Be honest and truthful. Be trustworthy. Because those are the type of people, those, those are the type of people we should be. And the type of people that God would want us to be. And the type of people that our friends would want to be around. And the type of people like our family, our friends, um, family, friends, church friends, church people, um, anybody you're dating or you're married or engaged to. It doesn't matter. But it applies to everybody. We need to learn how to be the person that God wants us to be. And we need to also learn how to keep our promises and keep our word. And we can't be making promises we know we can't keep. Because at the end of the day, we're going to be hurting someone else. And if we keep doing that, we're going to lose people. And then later on, we're going to regret it and wish we could take it back. And then we can't. So we need to remember how to keep our promises. Like God has kept his promises to us. And he hasn't broken his word. And we need to be the person who is honest who is not deceitful who is not selfish and we need to be the be the person who borrows and returns things and we need to remember to be the person um and that god wants us to be the christian that god wants us to be and we need to be that light to other people and if we're doing borrowing and not returning back or paying back how are we being a living testimony for christ to other people how are we as Christians living for God? I mean, really, really, really ponder on that in your head. Because we really tend to forget and we forget to realize what we what is required to be a truly committed Christian. To be a fully committed Christian. There are so many things that God wants us to do that we should be doing. And we tend to get lazy and we tend to forget the, to do those things. 
But I really do think that this could apply to everybody, not just people who just borrow and not return. But I just think that this replies to everybody. I really do think so. It's not just about a borrowing person. Not about just about borrowing people, like borrowing people who borrows things and doesn't return things or pay back to the person that they borrowed from. But I think this applies to everybody because how are, we need to try to be a we need to try to be that true friend and that good friend to that other person. We need to learn how to be that good sibling or good cousin or good daughter or you know whatever you are to your family your your friends or um in a dating relationship or engage or or you're engaged or your marriage or whatever it could be it applies not just to the to those type of people but applies to everybody like we need to give that up to God and let him work in us and we need to give up that borrowing habit that of not of borrowing and not returning or paying back to the other person but we need to learn to if we ask to borrow things that we return it back because at the end of the day who we are to blame ourselves for the decisions we make we can't be blaming them on other on others because that's not their fault that they didn't borrow whatever you know what i mean it's not their fault it's our fault if we do that if we make bad choices if we ourselves make bad choices we have we have ourselves to blame but we need to remember that God forgives us of everything we do wrong. We need to remember that we can always go to God and ask him for forgiveness and be confident that he's going to forgive us of what we do. But we also need to remember of not making the same bad choices. And we need to learn from those bad choices and not try not to make them again. And I get we're going to slip up, not just from time to time, but every day. We're, we are human beings and we're going to make mistakes. People... People do that, you know, we're not, us human beings, we're not going to be perfect. But in God's eyes, we are perfect. He thinks that we are perfect in his eyes. And even if we slip up and even when we mess up, God still loves us and God still is here for us. And God is still wanting to be in our lives and to work in us and use us. He's going to still use us, but... Please remember that we need to learn from our mistakes and not just keep making the same choices because how are we going to learn in life if we're making the same choices over and over and over again? The same, same choice. As, whether it's intentionally or accidentally, not meaning to, but it happened. But really, I just think that we need to apply this to our lives because at the end of the day, we want other people to see um, God in us and God um, in our lives. And we want to be a living testimony and sharing the gospel. And we want other people to see something different, a good different in us. And that is God in our lives. And we want others to want God in their lives. So really think about that and really ponder on that. Because at the end of the day, we need to really ponder on all this stuff. And we need to ponder on what God is saying and what God is telling us to do and what God is working on in our lives and stuff, what he wants us to do. For example, God has called me into the ministry. I might not know where yet, but I know that is what I'm going to do because that's what God wants me to do. And I'm going to say, yes, Lord, I'll do that. I'll do whatever you want me to do, Lord. I'll do that. For, I'll do what you want me to do, I'll go into the ministry and I'll spread your gospel and I'll spread the word. And that's what I'm doing on here. I'm doing that not only on YouTube, but on TikTok. And I'm trying to do that with other people too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope God spoke to you. And stay tuned for day 27, 28 out of the devotionals. To, um, I think it's tomorrow. Tomorrow's devotional will be called Hope, Hopeful Christians. Hopeful Christians. Um... So, um, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Um, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!